victim is defined as a person who suffers from a disruptive or injurious action or agency. This photo, taken by Roger Higgins in 1951, is a picture of Ethel and Julius Rosenberg right after they were found guilty of plotting to commit espionage by giving information on the atomic bomb to the UNSS of her. Dressed in formal attire, sitting in silence with blank expressions on both of their faces, it is hard to tell whether they felt proud or ashamed of their actions. We can see they knew of the camera's presence because they are both staring directly at the photographer as if it were a posed picture. Ethel and Julius sit eerily, separated by a heavy wired fence after they left the U.S. courthouse following their conviction. So how did the Rosenbergs receive their secret information? It was through David Greenglass, Ethel's brother. While enrolled in the United States Army, David was assigned to the Manhattan Project after being promoted to sergeant. Before he enlisted, though, David became a member of the Young Communist League, sharing an interest in communism with his sister and brother-in-law, Julius. From 1944 until David left the military in 1946, he passed secrets of the bomb through Julius, who then gave them to the Soviets. He was later arrested by the FBI for espionage. Shortly after his arrest, Greenglass confessed and turned gave up the Rosenbergs for being involved as well. Because of his confession, David was only sentenced to 15 years in prison. Ethel and Jings were convicted and sentenced to death on April 5, 1951, for breaking the Espionage Act of 1917, which prohibits transmitting or attempting to transmit to foreign governments information relating to the national defense. Finally, on June 19, 1953, both Ethel and Julius were executed by the electric chair. During the time of the trial, there was a great deal of tension between America and the Soviet Union. Americans were under a constant fear of nuclear attack by the USSR. Because of this, and with the spreading fervor against communism in Russia, the importance of the trial was only heightened. We have learned recently that Julius gave secrets away to the Soviets, but Ethel had no real involvement with her husband's actions, only with what her husband was doing, and she did not stop him. She was convicted because the prosecutors wanted more information from Julius, and when he refused to give up any, they charged Ethel with the same crime due to guilt by association. What Julius Rosenberg did was wrong, and he should have been punished for it, but to involve his wife and sentence them both to death while his brother-in-law only received a 15-year prison sentence was a punishment that was not deserved. Looking back, and looking at this picture especially, it is hard for us to justify the punishment that the Rosenbergs received. They are portrayed as victims, an ordinary couple killed when they did not necessarily need to be killed. After all, did they commit a violent crime that would be associated with the death penalty now? Similar to Sacco and Vanzetti before them, the Rosenbergs were given a more severe punishment not because of the act they committed, but instead of what they were associated with, and because of the time period when the act was committed. Today, they are still the only Americans ever to be executed for espionage.